Uh, I feel a bit of a fraud teaching an Enzo workshop because I've never been formally taught an Enzo myself from a Japanese master. So if there is a Japanese master out there who, who would like to share um, and give, give uh, his or her blessing to me, then please come forward. Teaching a course on how to create an Enzo, it's not really about an Enzo. I use an Enzo, this circular um, gesture of painting the circle with a brush, as a means, really. The course is really about the meditative approach to whatever you do, mark making. In this case, it's mark making. Now, not everybody who turns up to my um, courses have the time to learn a whole written language. I've been spending the past, I can't remember, 40 odd years or something learning Tibetan. I'm still learning. You know, I'm still, maybe I'm very slow, but I'm still refining, I'm still learning. You know, you're always learning. Not many people have that time to come to it to express um, their freedom through, you know, a lineage uh, and, and a tradition such as, as writing Tibetan. So an Enzo is a really good, good way to express this because it's just, it, well, I say it's just making a circle, you know. They say the, the imperfection is the, the perfection of, of whatever you do with it. So the main point of these sort of courses, and they are very popular, anyone can do it or anyone can think they can do it, but really it's about the meditative approach. It's about clearing the mind. It's learning how to meditate. It's learning how to um, to to see the the white paper, you know, to in the in the moment just as you're about to strike the brush to the paper. That is the the pith of, of the the um, the exercise. It's that moment. It's that moment there where you go go in there. The the the. The Enzo, the, the brushstroke, is the aftermath, really, you know, and, and um, it expresses, expresses, once you finish, it expresses exactly how your mind is. Any slight hesitation or doubt in your mind will give a wobble or a square or, or you know, an inconsistency. So it's a really good tool. Um, Chujan Trumper, he, he, um, he really... Uh, I have a lot to owe to Chujan Trumpa because he he brought together Tibetan calligraphy and the art of meditative Zen calligraphy, you could say, a very broad term. Um, but he really brought Tibetan calligraphy into the 21st century and it's still practiced today by you know his his subsequent schools that have carried on in America and such, you know, to, to, to write this ashe, this one one particular stroke. Um, mindfully and as a practice itself and that really interests me.